We all love football. It's the greatest sport in the world. We love the sport for the skills, the goals, the tricks, the storylines, the emotions, you know, all that stuff that it gives us. But we also love this great sport because of the weird moments it produces, and that's what we're here to look at today. Come along, let us look at some really weird moments in football. Let's start with this moment from João Cancelo's interview after a match between Barcelona and Celta Vigo. The Portuguese fullback could smell blood during that game, helping Barcelona come back from a two-goal deficit to win the game with an assist and the winning goal. Well, perhaps he was still smelling blood after the game because he seemed to briefly turn into a vampire during the post-match interview. No, that was just too weird. But we just can't talk about weird faces without mentioning Phil Jones. This guy is the king of weird, funny faces. He's always unknowingly making those faces on the pitch and they never stop to make us laugh. Speaking of faces, this next weird moment is a huge slap in the face and we mean that literally. Michi Batshuari got too excited after Belgium scored against England at the 2018 World Cup and in trying to celebrate the all-important goal, he picked up the ball and this happened. Okay, that must have really hurt, but you have to admit, it was funny. Even funnier was when this referee, who was voted Referee of the Year in the Belarusian League, showed up to a game drunk the following season. The man looked like he was doing a Mr. Bean bit right there on the pitch. Hilarious. But for real, what was going on in this man's life that he went out and drank the stupor just before a game he knew he was going to officiate? That may have been funny to us, but it was definitely super weird and was a huge slap in the face of the referee association. And if there's one person who knows all about the slap in the face, it's Marouane Fellaini. At the 2016 UEFA Super Cup match between Manchester United and Real Madrid, the Belgian midfielder got slapped in the face by the ball and he instantly got turned into a meme because the photographers happened to catch the incident at the point of impact. Fellaini himself happened to see the fun in it as well. But hold up, what is it with Belgians and getting slapped in the face? Jeremy Doku better watch out. Anyway, Man United have really produced a lot of weird moments, haven't they? Well, guess what? They still have a few more to come. And this one will not only weird you out, it'll creep you out. So in 2014, during a game between Man United and Swansea, Ashley Young had the weirdest thing happen to him. While he was trying to confront his teammates who weren't playing so satisfactorily, a bird just came in from nowhere and crapped in his mouth. Ew! Safe to say that Young had a shitty game that day, pun definitely intended. And that's not even all for weird moments from Manchester United. I mean, we surely couldn't leave out Louis van Gaal's theatrics on the touchline during a Premier League game against Arsenal while he was still United boss. The Dutch boss thought Alexis Sanchez had dived, but he didn't think the referees were really getting the picture, so he decided to act it out for Mike Dean on the touchline. Van Gaal is just too funny. Seeing a big man like LVG just suddenly drop to the floor without being pushed was a really weird thing to see, but it was funny then, and it it is still so funny each time we look at it. But let's now give Man United a break and head over to London. London derbies are usually very heated, so we naturally expected some fireworks when Spurs and Chelsea faced off in the Premier League in 2022. But no one could have predicted that the game was going to end the way it ended. This time around, the fight wasn't even between the players, it was between the two coaches. Antonio Conte and Thomas Tuchel were getting on each other's nerves for almost the whole of the game, and it snowballed into the most dramatic of endings. What was supposed to be a routine handshake between the bosses after the game ended up being a tussle which nearly erupted into a massive brawl. I wish someone would have just told them that they'd both be sacked from their jobs in less than a year. Maybe they would have toned down the passion a bit. And you know someone else who should have toned down his passion a little? Milad Mohamedi. Or you know what? Maybe it was good he didn't because we definitely loved seeing this especially at the World Cup. It was the 2018 tournament and Iran were looking for an equaliser against Spain, so Mohamedi was ready to pull out a special trick from up his sleeves, but he didn't seem to have the courage to pull it off. Now, it looked so weird that he attempted it, but ended up settling for a basic throw. Imagine if he had had the balls to go for the somersault long throw and it had led to an equaliser that would have instantly become the greatest throw in in World Cup history. But from what could have been to what actually is, let us now look at the outright greatest miss in league and history and probably even in football history. This miss from Chupa Moting, man, we have really never seen anything like it before. You know what? That was hardly even a miss. It was a save. He literally stopped the ball from going in. 
If he wasn't there, that would have been an easy goal for PSG, for real. It was much more difficult to not score there, but somehow Chupo managed to pull it off. What a guy. Let us now wrap up with one of the weirdest decisions from a referee during the game. We say weird decision from a ref and you just instantly know it's a Premier League referee we're talking about. We sometimes wonder what's in the water in England. Anyway, we have to go all the way back to 2014 for this one. During one of those London derbies between Arsenal and Chelsea, the ref Andre Mariner sent Kieran Gibbs off for something Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain did. Bro, it was just so weird. Oxlade-Chamberlain was even seen telling the referee that he was the one who should be sent off, but Mariner decided to stick with his obviously incorrect decision. Man, Gibbs and Oxlade-Chamberlain don't even look alike for you to make a mistake like that, to be honest. There are surely many other really weird moments the game of football has produced, so feel free to give us a few more in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.